before we get started, I just want to say fuck you, Disney, for supporting Republican senators and lawmakers that are passing through the Don't Say Gay bill in Florida. I'm so glad that I am able to use a family member's Disney Plus and have not been able to give you guys money for several years. I love your movies, but you are literally by and large from WALL-E now. Not that any of them care about what I think, but you know, I just wanted to vent. Try to take away rights of a whole group of people and then be like, nah, it's okay because LeFou was into Gaston that one time. Hey guys. Welcome back to my channel, where I cover nostalgic, obscure, or otherwise strange content. Today, we're looking at the pilot episode of the beloved Chippendale Rescue Rangers from Disney's 90s Saturday morning cartoon lineup. It's been a while since I've done a Saturday morning cartoon thing. It's probably gonna go up on a Wednesday, but whatever. I was thinking about returning to something in this vein for a while, and then Disney released the trailer for that really bizarre looking Chippendale Rescue Rangers Who Framed Roger Rabbit esque movie that is probably gonna be a huge cash grab, but you know. You look different. Hey, it's no secret I had the CGI surgery done. CGI surgery. I might do a video in a couple months when that movie comes out, but right now we're just gonna talk about Chippendale Rescue Rangers from 1989? Oh, I thought it came out a few years after that. Anyway, I used to love this show, but I have very vague, blurry memories about it, so we're just gonna get into it. <laughs> I do remember they had a great theme song. I was gonna make a comment about how uh, Chip's outfit is very, very much a like Indiana Jones ripoff, but then I remembered that Indiana Jones literally ripped off the first DuckTales comics to create the scene from the first movie, like the iconic scene where he's running from the boulder. That was a DuckTales ripoff. Look it up, it's a thing. <laughs> so I guess they're even. <laughs> this episode's called Pirate Sea Under the Seas. Piracy. Something that you would never, ever, I would never condone doing for Disney's media for the foreseeable future. Not ever. <laughs> ah! What a big idea! <laughs> I forgot how high pitched the voices were. <laughs> Just look at this mess! How can you be such a slob? Yeah, so they're. Living space is really gross. They're living like the revolting slob in Crash Box. Remember that? Ugh. You know you're supposed to clean up after yourself? Says who? Says me! You know you guys can talk to each other while still, like, giving each other space to breathe, right? What's going on here? Good morning, Gadget! Gadget's so underrated, I love her. I'd like to live somewhere where you never have to take out the trash. Right there, his voice reminded me so much of Matthew Gray Goobler. That's how you say his name, right? Reminds me of him doing the voice of Simon and Alvin and the Chipmunks. That's another video that's gonna have to be made at some point, because that movie was my childhood. How do you feel about an indoor pool? Matthew Gray Gruber. I'm sorry, I said his name wrong at least one of those times. <laughs> So Dale falls into a trash can and then gets picked up by the garbage man and thrown into the garbage truck. All right, Monty, start the engine. And everybody goes chasing down after the truck, which like, honestly, the first thing I'm thinking is like, how is Dale not just trash compacted, right? Like at some point it's like, sorry guys, I, th I think it's a, it's a lost cause. I think he's gone. <laughs> that would be very dark. Look so they almost die playing like real life Frogger in tra- well, this isn't, you know, real life to them. They're playing like POV Frogger and then they get tossed into the garbage truck also with very gross sound effects. Well, at least you should feel right at home here. Ah, burn. There's just something romantic about a sea voyage. I mean, it would be romantic if you're not neck deep in crap. This reminds me that Tom, I got shanghaied in Shanghai on a junk full of junk. Are you okay, dude? I hope we get back in time for dinner. Who could think of eating in a place like this? Yeah, gross. <laughs> gross. Do you know where that grape has been? Do you know where that grape is? <laughs> you know when you and your bro get stuck in a glass bottle together. You know those like 2010s like you know the meme format where it would always say like just girly things. It'd be like wearing socks that are two different colors. Just girly things. It's like we need this and it says like just chipmunk things. Looks like pirates. It's a pirate barrel. Look out! 
captured. So two members are overboard, two are captured. Actually, three are overboard. I forgot about the, the little guy. We've got to get out of this net. How can they breathe? Chipmunks can't breathe underwater. They're just full on talking to each other. I know they're in a bottle, but like, how much air is in there? It reminds me of Owen Wilson in Night at the Museum 2 when he's trapped in the, like, you know, he's a, the little tiny cowboy and he's trapped in the hourglass. Is that the second Night at the Museum 2 reference I've made this week? I think it is. What happened? Octopus happened. Bye, octopus. Here now. What's this? That sounds like what's his name that does voice and everything. Jim Cummings? I bet you that's him. People, if the voice actor is not him, uh, I apologize for comparing you to him, voice actor. Whoever you are, you're doing a very good job. Ooh, so fun fact, I learned that not in this episode, but in the majority of the episodes, um, Jim Cummings actually did the voice of Monterey Jack, which I never knew. That man is a voice chameleon. Is that a thing? It's a thing now. He's a voice chameleon. I'll be the first mate in this air crew. How about joining us for a pirate feast? A feast? Oh, boy, oh, boy, what are we having? Sure, just truck your friend into the abyss for food. Looks like leftovers again. Ugh. Oh, oh, I hate that. This should be just what we need. Their friends are trying to get to them, but in the meanwhile, they're hanging out with some garbage pirates. <laughs> Isn't this fun, Chip? Are you drinking out of thimbles? Don't thimbles have holes in it? I so. I should know what a thimble looks like off the top of my head. Anyway. I a treasure hunt. I, I, I. This is just making me think of you are a pirate from Lazy Town. Something that I completely forgot that the song was from Lazy Town until somebody mentioned it on my live stream last week. Treasure hunt. Treasure hunt. Treasure hunt. Treasure hunt. Treasure hunt. Treasure hunt. We can't waste our time playing pirates. We're rescue rangers! Chip remembers what the name of the show is about 10 minutes into the episode. And it's like, hey, we gotta get out of here! We've got jobs to do! You guys can tell Chip and Dale apart, right? Somebody always told me, like, growing up, that, like, it's the noses. Like, Chip, like, his nose, like, kind of looks like a chocolate chip. <laughs> so that's how you remember it, I guess. This leads to the lair of Billy the Squid. <laughs> Billy the Squid, I see you. The little landlubber with the red nose is the leader this week. This week? So after a very quick treasure hunt, they find the treasure. Yay! Come on, help me pick it all up! But we can't do that! We have to leave it here to find next week! Next week? I think he knows how being a pirate works. We've been finding this treasure every week for nigh on 200 years. That's so depressing. For nigh on 200 years. Did they say 200 years? Does he mean they've been around for 200 years? They're, they're rats. What, did like this is some government experimentation happen on them? You can't go back. Not now that you've seen our treasure. Uh-oh. This feels bad. You have to stay down here with us for the rest of your lives. That's unfortunate. Things have taken a dark turn. I fastened the baking soda to the back of the skateboard. Um, how much longer do you think it'll time? Poor Gadget is always on her own, isn't she? Is it weird that I want her hair? Like, I've never been able to make blonde work for me, but as far as the haircut, is it weird that I want an animated mouse's haircut? <laughs> Is that the baking soda that feels like almost like a tie-in sponsorship with Arm & Hammer? <laughs> Sorry if it looks weird if I'm like leaning back here. I'm just like, I look like I'm just like, ugh, being a YouTuber is so difficult. I'm just really tired. It's comfy this way. My, it's dark in here. That damn octopus is causing trouble for everybody today, isn't he? Blimey, an octopus. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> Oh, poor little octopus. Feel bad for him. That looks like it hurt. We're not here for treasure, Monty. You and Zipper find Chip and Dale while I try to build another submarine. I forgot. His name is Zipper. It just makes me think of, I don't know if anybody will remember this except for me. I still watch Everybody Loves Raymond sometimes with my parents. And you know that one episode where he's like, the one man Zipper band. I should have never hired Zippers. You're right. If you know, you know. But you might be trying to make off with our treasure. Oh my God. I just noticed the skeleton of the parrot in the bird cage. That's so dark. You can trust me. I'm an honorary player. I want to be an honorary pirate, or just a regular pirate. We can't be going back on the captain's orders. But that 
that was 200 years ago. Yeah, I think you're you're due for an update in team management, sir. Oh no! They just desecrated the remains of that poor bird. Hey, that you lovers. So apparently the plan is to cosplay as their long dead captain. What? Don't you know your own captain? Wonder how that's gonna go. What's that on your shoulder? That's me parrot! <laughs> the three it's feathers. Get young Ned! Right, so they call for somebody named Young Ned, who I guess was the captain's cabin boy, so he'll know if they're really the captain or not. Long lost Lafitte looks a lot like Monterey Jack! That's because you you gotta keep up the pace here, buddy. Somebody call for the cabin boy. Oh, is that young Ned? He's adorable. He always had a funny squint in his eye. His eye? Eye. Eye. And he was a short man. The squint in the eye and the short person. <laughs> I feel called out between being four foot eleven personally and the fact that this is my very weak eye and a lot of times it can be very squinty when I'm tired. It's pro you can probably see it right now. You know those things where you're like, I don't know if everybody else notices this thing that I find very obvious about myself. And he only had one leg. He left one. But that was his left one. <laughs> you come back. <laughs> Does nobody else notice that he has two legs? Do they not have object permanence? I'm still not over this. He has two legs, guys. I still don't understand why you're wearing all those dirty old feathers and why you're wearing pirate clothes Gadget's it's just like i was gone for 10 minutes what the hell is going on i suppose we might find room for a little gold yeah you could probably fit some treasure right no i reckon not oh you can't you can't take some treasure no I ain't come. What about your ow <laughs> i hit myself in the forehead when i did that what about your cheese? Cheese? Uh oh. Been saving it for you all these years. Oh, that looks like a very aged cheese. He ain't the cotton at all. My boy knows some good ass cheese when he sees it. They're just a bunch of lovers. So after finding out that their captain is almost literally three rodents in a trench coat, they get very upset. They walk stop. I feel like everything that's happened to them today, walking the plank is not the worst thing. Why do some of the characters find the need to wear pants and some don't? It just makes Chip and Dale look like they're just going pantsless for no reason. Ahoy, Billy! Nice octopus. Good octopus. Come on now, hurry up. Why am I holding my breath like I'm scared that they're all gonna die? They're not gonna die. Oh no, don't stab the octopus! Oh, thank god, I thought the microphone was off. I would have been so sad. We gotta use that barrel of theirs to get back to the surface. Maybe we could raise the whole ship. Ra is that like raising the, the roof? I'm sorry. I'll bet it's the weight of all that treasure that's holding it down. So they're like, if we unload all the gold, the ship itself will float to the top. I don't know if it works like that, but anyway. Mouse science. <laughs> But how do we unload the treasure? There must be tons of it. Well, I didn't say it was a perfect idea. I like that they're just like, how do we do that? And she's like, oh, you you do something. You contribute something. <laughs> All right, load the cannon. <laughs> load the cannon? They are chipmunks. <laughs> Somebody get out of the way there, buddy. <laughs> there you go. So after some chipmunk hijinks, all the gold gets tossed out of the ship and it floats to the surface everything's turned upside down from now on you'll be able to live like other rats above the water so gadget's like welcome back to land living sir we can have real adventures again and they're happy so good for them we took care of the squid kid <laughs> They tied him to the mast? That seems so inhumane. The Poor Billy. Say goodbye to the little red-nosed swab. He would have made a grand pirate. So they're like, bye, tell Dale we love him. Is Monterey Jack supposed to be English or... Good eye, mate. Australian. I guess Australian, right? I could never tell. His accent always seemed to be something in between. <laughs> 
episode, Dale blows everything up one last time, and then the episode ends. Happy ending for everybody, I guess. We never find out how they get back to land. I guess they just float in that barrel, but you know, good for them. This show is super nostalgic for me. I remember, I mean, I would watch it on Saturday mornings, but I also have this very distinct memory. As a little kid, I was, I was born with terrible eyesight in this eye, so I spent so much time sitting in, in eye doctor's offices, and one specific one was always playing Chippendale Rescue Rangers, and I just, like, that was the highlight of having to go there, was watching Chippendale. I hope you guys have liked this Saturday morning cartoon video. That'll probably go up on, like, I don't know, a Tuesday or something. I'm gonna link some resources on how you can help out the LGBTQ plus community right now. It's just super disappointing because, like, I, like everybody else, I love... Disney. I think a lot of people love content made by Disney, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I do think that we, as a fandom, we definitely need to hold Disney more accountable because they're just, like, the quintessential evil business, cartoon levels of evil, you know? So it's just like, ugh, so disappointing. But yeah, I really enjoyed watching the show again for the first time in years. I hope you enjoyed watching it with me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking what... God, you could just make a super cut of the amount of times I've messed up the outro. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Everything you do to support this channel means the world to me, guys. We're over 2,100 subscribers, which means so much to me. I just, I just appreciate you guys. So thank you. Uh, if you're new here and you're a fan of nonsense, maybe consider sticking around because I post nonsense all the time. And remember, my name is Avery. I'm a YouTuber if you say so, because thanks to you guys, this is technically a YouTube channel. Bye. There's lipstick all over my mug.